Hey folks, Quilly Teen here coming at you with another Steam Summer Getaway Sale video. We're looking at the sales for today, July 18th. Just a reminder, the sales for yesterday are still available, and if you missed my video, go back and check it out, and I'll tell you what to buy and what not to buy. Today, the big highlights for me, Torchlight 2, definitely. It's an action RPG, very Diablo-like feel, uh, fantastic gameplay, great aesthetics, uh, some really cool and different mechanics. Um, it, it's definitely sort of a lighter feeling game than Diablo, but it is it is no less excellent. I definitely recommend it. The first one was really good too, but uh, the second one adds a lot of new features that are definitely worth checking out. For five bucks, you can't go wrong. Speaking of going wrong, you would go very wrong if you were to buy Infestation Survivor Stories. So this game, I was like, when I saw it on the list, I'm like, what the hell is this thing? I've never heard of this. And then I did a quick Google. It was like, oh, this is War Z. This game is terrible. So. There was a zombie survival game based on the Arma 2 game engine called Daisy that was very, very popular and very excellent. And these guys seemed to just slap something together, call it War Z, and tried to compete. And they had what is widely acknowledged to be a not very good, bad, bad game. Uh, and then there was a zombie movie called World War Z. And so there was lawsuits, and that's why this has been changed. It's got a new name. It is the same game that is not considered to be very good. And it's, it's deceptive, because if you click through and you read the feature list, it sounds like it should be amazing. But no, not really. Euro Truck Simulator, on the other hand, is actually a surprisingly decent pick. Um, so you're driving trucks, like big transport trucks, lorries, if you will. And it sounds stupid. It sounds like one of these like trash bin games, and yet it's actually really well put together. It's more like it's more like a flight simulator or something to that extent um, in terms of depth and detail. You can drive like all over freaking Europe, more or less. And um, you know, some people like playing sandbox games like Grand Theft Auto and really like it for the driving aspect of it. They'll do all the ambulance missions and the taxi missions and all that. Well, this is like that, except your cousin doesn't call you to go bowling every now and again. And you're driving, you know, 20 tons of raw steel down the European highways. Uh, you've got missions, there's business management aspects of it, you know, buying and upgrading your trucks, and you just, you know, get to drive and explore, and it's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I'm not going to say that it's like a must-buy for everyone, obviously, but it, it's worth not snickering at, anyway. You know, give it a little bit of a think. Uh, all my order got mixed up. XCOM Enemy Unknown, excellent tactical... Um, squad-based combat kind of game with great story, and it's got a great, great, great pedigree. Uh, certainly a good one. I mean, the fact that Euro Truck Simulator and XCOM Enemy Unknown are the same price is like, well, if you have to choose one, you should probably pick XCOM. I I'm not saying you should pick this up. I'm just saying, you know, it's it's actually not that bad. SimCity 4, ooh, what a great pick. This is the Deluxe Edition, which means it comes with the Traffic Jam expansion? Traffic something? click through to see, I don't know, the tra Rush Hour, that's what it's called, the Rush Hour expansion. Um, and it is obviously a very good game, but if you're going to download it and play it, what the other thing you want to do is you want to look up something called the Network Add-on Module, NAM. I, I'll try to put a link down in the description box. There's a fan-made set of modules, add-on patches, plugins, that sort of thing, that improve the gameplay of SimCity 4 that much more. A lot of the people who love, 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 love SimCity 4 and trash SimCity 5 are the same, are always like, well, you, SimCity 4, yeah, but you've got to, you know, you install this big, huge fan add-on to make it work really, really well. Um, so it's not like SimCity 4 is without its glitches right out of the box. Actually, it runs pretty well right out of the box, but with this fan mod, it is stupendous. So certainly a very, very good pick. Magicka is really cool. You guys probably all know what Magicka is at this point, but if you don't, it is a four-player co-op game where you play as little wizards and, you know, you just battle hordes of monsters. It's got a really cool spell casting mechanic that is absolutely brilliant, super fun to play. And specifically, the thing that makes it insanely fun is that every spell hits every one. So there's huge amounts of friendly fire in this game, and you tend to blow up your friends, quote-unquote, just as much as the enemies. And that's why you want to pick up the four-pack for this, grab yourself three friends, and spend the night laughing and or raging at each other at this goofy, ridiculous, over-the-top, amazing game. Uh, for the price, you can't possibly go wrong. Uh, Gary's Mod is really cool. You get to put things together and watch them go. It's basically just a giant physics sandbox uh, using the uh, the Valve Source engine, and yeah, you get to, I don't know, put wheels on barrels and have them roll into walls and explode and things, and someone, some you guys in the comments, you guys know what Gary's Mod is, 
you can certainly find a better way to describe this game than I've just done it. Put it down in the comments and people vote up the best ones and I'm really curious to see what kind of tagline or blurb you guys can come up with, the synopsis for Gary's Mod. You know, funny is better. Um, yeah, so don't buy Infestation War Stories, or Survivor Stories, just don't. Like, War, no, War Z, bad, bad, bad. Uh, I don't really know much about Van Helsing, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Far Cry is excellent, but, you know, still a little on the pricey side, because, you know, it's not a relatively old game. And there we have it. So those are the picks for today. Uh, ooh, Port Royal. Ooh, Binding of Isaac. Mmm, very nice. Uh, Risen 2. I am not really familiar, but... I know, I don't cover these usually. I'm just kind of curious to see. Unreal Tournament, really... It's not the original one, is it? Like the first Unreal Tournament? No. No, no, no. Okay, those graphics are, are way too sweet. Um, cool, though. Oh, it's oh Unreal Tournament 3. Man, I love the original Unreal Tournament. Anyway, I'm not going to get all uh, nostalgic on it, but th those are the picks for today. Definitely some good ones, and definitely one you should not buy. Do not buy. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.